sexual freaks and geeks out there. Of course, it is me, Quita, aka Belasian Quita. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to SIN TV. On today's show, our juicy topic of the day is going to be all about what are some good, affordable gaming mouses out there that will make you break so much in regards to cost here. And as you can see, my character is getting attacked here. But have you noticed something different about my character, perhaps? It's not a guy anymore. We have a lady. This is Neltra, or Nelra, pardon me. <laughs> Nelra, who is the newest class to be added to Davillion, which is the Tempest class. And I was so excited, everybody, to get her because so many people have been talking about the tempest class and how amazing it is and trust me it i i had i had to get the tempest class to try it out of course so what we're going to be doing today but besides talking about affordable gaming mouses will also go over some of the fundamentals that you need to know about the villain as well as the tempest class and what you need to know so we're gonna have a blast this is gonna be a lot of fun let's get into some brief riot talk shall we oh hey friend requests are always good but yeah let's get into some brief uh riot talk here I have to catch you intellectuals up with what has been going on with yours truly. So, two more days, two more days, two more days until I can see my allergist and finally get down to the bottom of why I've been having these weird reactions to my makeup as well as the weird reactions um, that I've been having to pretty much most food that I've been eating as well. So you know, I appreciate each and every one of you intellectuals out there that have been keeping me in your prayers. I am very grateful for that. I really appreciate it. And I'm telling you, I, I'm, uh, man, I'm praying everything will go okay and I'll be back to normal. And I also ended up doing some yard work too. It was pretty funny with my, uh, with my mother and my father. And what ended up happening was I overworked myself so hard that like the back of my like the back of my thighs, each one of my thighs is hurting exponentially right now. And it's been hurting for the last like two days. Like my body is slowly recovering. I'm telling you, my friends, it's at, it's like absolutely crazy what's been going on so another thing too and i have an exciting announcement for you so this is what's been going on too i found a way for me to play mobile games on twitch i can't believe it i found a way that's not super complicated it's very easy and Next month, I'm going to uh, pick a mobile game that I am a really huge fan of. But you know me, I love, you know, MMORPGs. And mobile gaming is really, really very, very popular. So I found an awesome app that will allow me to, to play them for you and to, um, to stream them to Twitch so that I can play. So I, I'm telling you, my friends, I am so so excited for some of the new stuff that's going to be coming to Sin TV and the games that I'm going to be playing and with finding this method of how to do this it really opened up so many doors for me to play some new games to play some stuff that's more uh more out of my comfort zone and and things like that so i'm really excited about that but i'll be next month so our featured game of course for this month is davillion and i am having a blast with this tempest class like i thought my previous character was awesome no tempest tempest is in a whole new level so let's Get, let, let's stop talking about me. Let's get into Davillion here. So as you can see, here is my character a little bit more close up here. This is Nelra. And you know, you know I had to make her look sexy like me, you know, and look good. And what's interesting about the Tempest class is that she has a uh, two-handed um, 
a two-handed blade here. And the two-handed blade pretty much acts as individual, as you can see here. Um, she ends up having um, individual, pardon me here, geez, like moving around sometimes can be a pain. But individual swords, which is really cool. So she has staff ability as well as individual type sword ability. Now, here's the other thing, too, that I've learned um, in regards not only using the Tempest class, but here's some Davillion playing Davillion 101. You don't have to have your generic attacks to be um, your left click and right click. So as you can see here, I'm at level 16 and I did this last night. Actually, I, I took last night. I was, I slept most of the time throughout the day, but I was like, you know what? Let me get my class where it needs to be. You know, let me get the tempest to where she would need to be. And I got her up to level 16 coming up level 17. But here's the interesting thing. You can set your pre left and right click here by just clicking and dragging the uh, the uh, the skill that you actually want so for example let's say I want to move this over to seven that's all you have to do and then when you go into your your skill section and then you just hit skill and it opens up your skill tree all you really have to do is let's say I want dark slash to be my left click. You just click it and drag it and it fits in beautifully there for you. And I am building up. I got Lancer 2 and it's like Interceptor. But I'm going to really just work on building building Slaughter because that's going to I think that's really one of the stronger points for the Tempest besides the uh, Lancer class. And then I also learned another interesting thing. And that is in regards to talisman cards, which I will be showing later. It really makes a difference to additional attributes to make the Tempest class even stronger. So we'll go over some more of the um, more of the fundamentals of of the Tempest class, which I've really been enjoying. And as you can see, I put bloodletting as well as cyclone as my left and right click. And I also have my my left click, which allows me to um, to move around. So it is kind of refreshing to to be able to have that in the first place, you know. So let's go over the gist of the Tempest class. This is coming from TritonWorlds.com, and this is of course the official Davillion website page so or the official page for Davillion or the Davillion section here which is pretty cool the fury of the tempest has arrived in Davillion and this was posted on February 18th so here are some of the key things um, that this class I think is really really strong so like I said her her pretty much her spears double-ended spears turn into separate swords so some of the key features for the tempest class is slaughter lancer and interceptor so slaughter is this and these are the skill trees that you just previously saw this skill tree offers a variety of area of effect buffs and enemy debuffs to add more power up to or to add more power up your party and then lancer is geared towards the the galaviv hopefully i'm saying that correct uh this skill tree is more effective when you have activated the tempest form change skill and then the interceptor which is offering a variety of rapid blade attacks with a variety of ranges this skill tree is best suited to take on small groups or unfortunate individuals so i think where i'm going to be really focusing is slaughter and interceptor but i i like to build my skill trees kind of one at a time but because that's the unique thing about Davillion is you can build your character to be any way that you want your character to be whether close range long range or a combination of both which is always a definite definite plus and another thing too which is interesting too is the level cap increase to 54 and the Davillion cap e increase to 30 it also adds more expansion to um, the game as well you also have a nine-man raid dungeon that's more once you get around level 50 you'll start to 
um, opened that up. There's also been new levels to level 53 heroic and hell dungeons as well as the arch devil dungeons. And dungeons you don't have to do as a group. I made the assumption that you had to do it as a group and you really don't actually. Hey, what's up layup lean? How you doing? Welcome back my friend. Appreciate you being here. So that that was something I made a huge or something about and you don't you can do the end you can do the dungeons individually um but it's still a lot of fun when you play with your friends you know and for me what ended up happening was i did the dun i try to do every dungeon three times so you can pick up the heroic items this is similar like in diablo where you have your your legendary items like in diablo 3 um that's similar to you in Davillion. Like your heroic items are going to be your really good legendary type of, you know, items. So I have a couple on her. And, and I must say, I really, really, really like her outfit. I wish I had the body to pull that off. But maybe eventually I will. I'm working out. You know, I'm taking care of myself, you know. And um, I'm doing what I'm, you know, I'm doing what I have to do to, to, you know, ever since I've been having these flare-ups with my allergies and breaking out and stuff, you know, I've become more cautious of my health. Like today, I'm going to do some yoga, get back into it. I've been slacking a little bit just because I've had a lot going on this week. Like, ser like seriously, it's pretty insane. But yeah, those are pretty much the gist of, of what I found from the, uh, from the Tempest class, you know, so far. And I am... I am really loving her. She is so fierce. And what's so cool too is when you um, pick the temp. Once you uh, pick the Tempest class, there's a really cool, sexy kind of cutscene too, um, which I think is really a nice touch to to introduce her. But I really, really, really like her. I, I, I really think she's a great addition to Davillion, and I really hope that they include more. Um, more female characters in the future to kind of balance it out and more male characters as well um to balance it out but i haven't really been impressed though lately with uh what's been going on and here's the cool thing look how she rides on on her mount she does not even ride normal she she like she rides on the side which is kind of interesting here all right let's get this going here and the cool thing about her too is she has a increased strength ability which is called form change and it helps you to slash through your enemies a heck of a lot faster like what i'm doing here and that boss was no difficulty for me unlike my previous um shadow character which i I mean, I was struggling to even get through this boss here. It's kind of ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, it's been a good, good time, man. It would be... Okay. All right, Layup Lean. I appreciate it, man. Come back another time. And, uh, I'll, I'll be here. I'll be here. I appreciate you coming in. It means a lot, my friend. Thank you so much. It really, really does. Don't hit me. Okay, and uh, this is Pokiarek, I think I'm saying it right, or Pokiarek. He's actually human. Um, he is not a, a monster. It's just uh, human in a monster uh, costume. And let me just go through here. This is my favorite ability. Let me see if I can uh, get some more strength here. I'll have to show that off. Okay, let's get another quest. Oh, we finished that one. And let's go destroy that crystal, hey, dang it. Don't hit me. But what, Layup Lean? What? But yeah, I really appreciate all, like, all of you guys and awesome, sophisticated ladies. I gotta show you this move. Look at this. It's so awesome. This is my personal favorite, Piercing Storm. And uh, yeah, so she has really dual, awesome weapon type of abilities. But these are the main ones that I use. I use the Bloodletting, the Cyclone, with the combination of the Deadly Axe and Spin Slash. And it just really gets through my, my enemies here. And uh, yeah, it's a good time though. It's a really, really, really good time. But what I decided to do, as I'm burping in the mic, really classy, right? Uh, but what I decided to do though, as well, is I wanted to kind of 
start a series from time to time just you know finding affordable things whether it's you know gaming wise or just something that really petites my interest um because one thing i noticed is when i started streaming i was spending way too much money um, on getting my peripherals you don't really need to do that you can get amazing peripherals for a very affordable price okay so for example my keyboard situation this is why I ended up finding out the place where I actually um, bought my my keyboard from uh, I actually took out a protection plan for it so I can I can end up um, exchanging it again and um, or exchanging it um, under the protection plan which is really awesome so I'm really grateful for that look at that attack see I don't have enough energy yet let me get some energy here yes level 17 excellent there we go all right let me put three which is this is like my favorite attack in the whole wide world it's so epic I love it um, but yeah so what ended up happening was I you know I didn't know I took out a protection plan for the keyboard because remember I told you my fate was my favorite one of my favorite um, gaming peripheral like companies in the whole wide world is TTE sports they're not paying me to say that I just really believe in their products um, and uh, they're very affordable and I, that one actually lasted me a long long time so I'm, I'm really impressed I'm actually using the previous um, model um, that's not RGB it's their blue is the Poseidon uh, Z blue I believe that's what it's called um, and I'll have a link below this video so you can check it out and I mean it's very affordable it's very very affordable and I, I really enjoy um, using it and it's very because for me I have very big hands for a woman okay I know and um, typing can be quite a pain and the thing I like about this keyboard from TTE sports is a really big size the keys are spaced out perfectly for my type of hands and and it works really well I mean the the amount of traction when I'm attacking it's on point for me and and it just it, it works beautifully now I like this model the blue model over the art the Poseidon uh, the Poseidon Z RGB vent or RGB brand there we go because of those stylistically it looks absolutely amazing and look at this you can spin that attack around which I love it's like so epic all right let's keep rocking here and taking these enemies out here and this I love this like cyclone move it's like my it's my personal favorite Not enough energy. yeah I never have enough energy too high um, but yeah I really like the blue version better I just like the feel of it better it's not so um, like for me the RGB version was a little bit glossier for me um, and I noticed my fingers were like slipping on it but that's just me I, I really like the blue and how the feel of the keys are um, a lot better um, in regards to that but I ended up switching back excuse me ended up switching back to the previous model uh, that I have um, so I'll be getting another RGB just to have as a backup when this one decides to go but here's a cool thing about this keyboard the Poseidon Z like this particular model and the RGB 2 which I like it has a five-year warranty through TTE sports which is just absolutely amazing and that's why I love their products like I'm gonna get a mouse from them and a headset I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get the complete works you know and my headset even though I love it it's from um, you know it's from Razer and, and it does the job um, I just sometimes don't like having a headset on now that we're going into spring and summer it's kind of annoying like my ears are sweaty and I don't really care for that so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get um, a, a uh, blue Yeti mic and then have and just have it completely um, completely wireless uh, which I prefer to do oh cool I have a party now this is cool so we can all you know level up here together which is pretty sweet 
But yeah, I'm getting the hang of this game though. But the talisman thing I will spend some time on today because it's something I think not a lot of people, especially when I was starting, I didn't really understand it. And the more you combine your your talisman cards, that's the stronger off you're gonna be, honestly. Besides, you know, enhancing your weapons too, which can help. Um, but yeah, I really I really really recommend um, TTE sports if you're if, especially whether you're starting or you're an advanced player I mean the cost of their products absolutely amazing I am very impressed um, with with their products now I haven't tried their uh, uh, their headsets yet but so many people like them like their chrono series is very popular um, but yeah I will have to uh, Wow, we got a lot of quests to do in this area, for sure. Um, but yeah, I will have to try those, for sure. And I'll probably do separate reviews. And also, let's get into... We also have some news about more Overwatch and the Princeton University story on diversity that I did not have a chance to uh, cover the last time. Uh, because it was just such good gameplay. Also, I have to thank Kiwi... I appreciate, oh my gosh, Kiwi came in and that was so awesome. I was so honored um, to have someone, you know, come in uh, that actually deals with uh, Davillion itself. That really meant a lot to me. I thought that was really cool um, that that happened. And I, and I really feel blessed for that. Um, and they're awesome. So much love to you, Kiwi. Thank you so much um, for taking the time to even, you know, check me out. That really, um, it really meant a lot to me. And this is why I do what I do is because I love, you know, giving an intellectual view to gaming. You know, gaming is not necessarily just for entertainment. Um, but there's a lot that I have learned from gaming. And I really, it's really educated me. And has kept me to be more open-minded because I think gamers are some of the most open-minded people you know in the world are there some judgmental gamers of course there are judgmental people in every subculture um, and the reason why I call the gaming you know in the geek community overall a subculture because when you think about it it really is you know there's so many different you know different niches and um, yeah it, it's very interesting it's a very interesting culture and you know, I'm a proud, you know, I'm proud to be a part of it. Yes. Okay, let's do this Davillion. Let's get into Davillion mode. Let's get some, let's get that going. And as you can see, uh, this is my character in Davillion mode. So I'll show you here. Um, very sexy, if I do say so myself. Very impressed. Like, very impressed. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool though. And we're just getting quests up the wazoo, though. All right, let's see here. Let's defeat these suffering boars. Poor suffering boars, man. But yeah, we'll do the news portion uh, for sure later. Uh, but let's get into our juicy topic of the day. Let's just start it off early, right? And we're going to be talking all about affordable gaming mouses. Because one thing I've noticed, when I first started playing, my friends... Let me tell you how ridiculous it was to look at how much it costs to get a PC gaming mouse. I'm thinking, oh, you know, you just need a regular mouse. But no, you have to, you know, if you really want to maximize your performance, especially if you're playing for long extended periods like I do, um, you need, the first thing is, it's not about the brand name, my friend. You know what it's about? It's about comfort. And, and comfort is the first thing I look at since I have big, I have super big, you know, not so feminine hands sometimes. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what, like, you really need some good comfort. You really do need some good comfort. And one brand that I really recommend, especially uh, if you have big hands like I do, I, I highly, highly recommend Zelotex. And what Zolotez is, it's a uh, Chinese-based brand. And I really, I talk about them all the time. And you know why? Because their stuff is so awesome. It's, um, 
they have really good good mouses so let me just quickly go over some of my recommendations that are very affordable all of these you can get on amazon.com and I use Amazon because of uh, Amazon Prime I mean it was amazing that I got this mouse like two days ago just like that and it's right on the dot and I love it I just love Amazon and that's where I get all of um, all of my stuff from so the first one that I want to show you here briefly is the Zelo Tez it's the Zelo T90 with 9200 DPI 8 buttons wired USB uh, gaming mouse in black and here it is I have to show you this quick here because this is super super awesome this mouse is incredible so here it is it's really nice. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see some uh, better detail here. So on the side, or I'll show the other side here. On the side, you actually have the light where you can change your lighting settings. And you can also program these two scroll type or clickable buttons here. So there's three. And then here in the middle, this is going to be your uh, DPI right here where you can switch it you also have a firing button so that's really gonna be good for uh shooter type games right there and i mean the scroll button everything lights up and yeah it's the t90 um it says on here the great spider inception and you also want to make sure there's protective plastic when you first purchase it so you want to make sure you remove that off but this is it and look this is what i mean for people who have big hands so as you can see, when I put my hand on here, I'll, I'll turn to the side. There's that thumb rest. And this is so comfortable. And then uh, the only thing I will say, it's kind of odd, but I have to put like my pinky here on the side, but that's okay. But overall, this is very comfortable. It glides really well on my Corsair mouse pad. And uh, it also says Zelotez on the... Um, the USB and it's not gold plated, but it really doesn't matter to me personally. Um, the other model which I'm currently uh, using right now is this is the uh, Zelo Tez. Um, this is a 5500 DPI model, and uh, this is what I'm using right now as we speak. The only difference I like about this one is that additional curvature, and you change your DPI right here in the middle and i'm not even kidding you the price on this one is absolutely amazing i got this one for 9.99 with free shipping like amazing and then this one i ended up getting for um well i got mine this is a t90 model um and this one I got for $16.99, but I did the what the link I'll have below is the one that I found, and that one's $18.99. But if you really think about the price, okay, of, of a PC gaming mouse, you cannot beat that price at all. Like I was so impressed uh with with the cost of this, and it performs similar to some of these other you know very prestigious gaming brands out there like um, I could compare uh, the like I've only used like Zelo test but I can compare these mouses to similar quality to like Logitech you know um, I've had Logitech mouses in the past but I mean these have worked um, excuse me pretty well for me it seems like Zelo test is the only brand that I can use for my big hands like if you have other brands um that you will recommend please leave them in the comments below of course you can check this and other previous episodes at youtube.com slash user slash sim tv now but that i really do like zelo tez especially uh if you have uh really really big hands the next brand i recommend too is have it um they have a 12,000 deep uh, dpi led high precision programmable optical uh, gaming mouse and it has all the amazing keys um, um like your side keys on there and uh yeah it's 
it's really really nice so i'll have the links to that too also the habit hvms 745 um that one i showed previously it's only 36.99 which is not bad um and the habit ms 745 just your classic uh standard gaming mouse uh, it has like a dpi button in the middle and two additional red buttons and it's also very uh comfortable too and that one was only 10.99 so you you really can't beat that um you also have the zelo tez which is the model i just showed you the 5500 and that's the dpi uh seven button led and it's really it's it's very similar to like a pro gaming mouse and that one's only eight dollars and sixty four cents here on amazon and the def adder uh, chroma which is a very other uh uh, another model that is also super super popular and uh, that one is for 54 56 that they have it and here's another tip too if you are looking for some good um, if you're looking for some good deals um, one thing about me I am not a bougie person like I don't have to buy things brand new uh, but as a disclaimer like I like I always say this is just what I do and this is my opinion you have to make sure that you get the gaming peripherals that work for you I know some people like to just buy new because they're concerned that if it's used it's not gonna be as good but if you're really on a budget and you want to save money with gaming mice especially, you may want to go the refurbished route. And when refurbished, what you can do is you can actually go through the uh, manufacturer directly. So for example, uh, TTE Sports actually has uh, refurbished mice and it costs l even more than half of what you would regularly um, pay for. And I really, really like um, TTE Sports products, like I've said before. I like the ease of use. And whether you're a beginner or, hey, you're a pro, um, they make some really nice accessories that um, I've had no issues with. And I, I like that they make, especially the Presiding C series I like because with me having big hands, I'll tell you, it's a pain in the butt to try to find stuff and it, yeah it's very very difficult and uh oh come on let's go here ah jeez, i don't have enough energy come on wow he is really tough this antagonized corpse like jeez louise there we go boom done and one all right so i gotta collect Devil's bones. Whoa, I'm like, to I'm like totally spinning and not paying attention here. Right, let's get that. Uh, come on. There we go. All right, let's see here. I gotta collect devil's bones. I don't know. I'm like, I don't even know where to go. But yeah, the Razer Dev Adder, yep, it's going to be a higher price point. It's actually one of the one of the best-selling mouses, too, um, on uh, Amazon.com. And it's like 54 net 56 So, I mean, yeah, you get a pretty good DPI range with it as well. But I just think Razer's, like, products, too, can be a, a little overpriced if you're starting out. Um, if you can afford it, excellent. But I'll tell you, quite pricey. <laughs> quite, quite pricey. Um, but it fits pretty well for people who have more like medium. I would say if you have a more medium type hand. And then the other thing is this mouse has 10,000 DPI. So that's a very wide range from MOBAs to shooters to even everyday you know basic type gaming i mean that's more than enough i mean for me if you're playing games like you know civilian and uh diablo i think honestly you could get away with 55 to about 85 but see it all depends how fast you play too so that's going to be the other key um when it boils down to it yes we are slaying darling slaying look at all these quests we're on the road to level 20, which is always a good thing. All right, so let's go defeat uh, Sesia. 
Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, you can get refurbished uh, products through. Oh, hey, what's up, Goro187 in the building? Ah, a power glove. Yes. Power gloves are classic, man. They're really nice. But see, for me, I have big hands, so it's kind of hard. I'm like, yeah. Alright. I'm like, I don't know, power. I don't know if we should bring back the power glove. I'll tell you, I'm not really impressed with the, with the virtual reality. I really am not. You know, it's like been there, done that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of the games that are coming out for it, very innovative. But I just, I don't know. You know, I like this. Goro's like, this is no time to talk about computer parts. You are fighting the high dark lord, Satan's minion. You must give total focus. <laughs> oh, that that's very interesting. I appreciate that commitment. We must commit to the to the to defeating the darkness, right? But I appreciate you being in here, my friend. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I would say when it comes to uh, Razer, I tell ya, you know, it's a it can be a hit or miss. That's like with any brand, it's a hit or miss. I'm telling you right now, hit or miss. Um, I, I, I mean, for me, Razer, the headset I'm using right now, the RGB uh, Chroma, it, it works pretty well. The mic is pretty decent. But my issue with Razer with this particular headset series is comfort. So I'll give an example. Um, when I first got it, it was tight. I mean, literally, it, it gave me a... Um, it gave me a horrible... Why is it? Okay, there we go. It gave me a horrible, horrible help. Like... Horrible hell. Yes, it did. Um, it gave me a horrible, horrible headache. And, uh, yeah. Woo! That, it was not a good time. Alright, we are going into civilian mode because I'm not going to waste time with this prick. Come on. Let's go. Let's see here. Come on. Man. That was a waste of civilian mode right there. It was a waste. Okay, so let's keep hacking and flashing at Sasha here. Okay, there we go. Crank it out, crank it out. Alright, let's see here. And see, I hate how I run out of energy so- Woo, Melly! Whooping my butt right there. Oh, we're gonna- It's going down now. I'm pissed off. There we go. Yay! Slain! Hashtag slay dolly. Okay, no. Oh my gosh. But no, my friends, I'm telling you, like, yes, I belong here. What you talking about? There we go. Hashtag slaying. Slaying the forces of evil. But yeah, I mean, Razor is a hit or miss. And like I said, if you really, really are looking at affordabil affordability, just go with the refurbished route you can go through the manufacturer like TTE Sports you know they have their own refurbished too and I'm not too sure but I believe Corsair does as well and you can save a lot of money and even if you go into different gaming stores and stuff like that always look for like gently used or, or refurbished stuff you know I mean I understand when it comes to like headsets and stuff like that I rather go through the manufacturer for that I don't usually go use um, just because I'm like oh it was on someone's head and even if I were to disinfect it it's kind of like you that's just me personally uh, but that's what I would recommend honestly okay so let's see Goro says I am here because oh Jacob sent me okay I see I see you are on a valiant quest I appreciate that Goro thank you for being here um, but yeah, I mean those are just some you know recommendations. I have some other ones too So I'll put it in the links below um, so you can definitely um, Check it out, but affordable gaming mouses. It's very it's very vital You know, especially the way that you play too. It makes a huge difference. Okay. Let me help my girl here All right, there we go Man she is a really good cannoneer, though. Not even gonna lie. I am very impressed with this, whoever I'm playing with here. Very, very good at cannoneer. I am truly, truly impressed. So while we're moving here on to our next quest here, let's see what new swag I got. Thanks for helping. Alright, so, eh, tough undershirt. and eh, it's kind of pointless. 
Uh, nope, I don't need that outfit. Man, these enemies will not let a sister rest. There we go. Um, let's go into the skill tree here. Let's see what we gotta do here. All right, so we mastered Cyclone. Excellent. You can always reset your skills, which is cool, and there's no cost to do that, unlike some other games. So it is kind of refreshing to not deal with that. So we got a dungeon. So I'm excited for that, though. But, man, I, I feel like I'm getting my energy back. I am. I've been kind of down, you know. I've been kind of tired. I'm just like, ah. But, yeah, I've been really excited um, in regards to, you know. Oh, she's, wow, she was already here. She was like, bitch, why are you taking so long? I'm <laughs> playing. Okay. So, all right, are we going to do this? Let's go. There we go. Let's enter. So we're doing two-player dungeon. So this is going to be good. Haven't done this actually in a long time. And uh, Tree of Savior is going to be out tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, on the 10th, they said, May 10th. So um, if I'm incorrect, I'll put the correction below, of course. But um, yeah, I am really excited for Tree of Savior. I'm going to be getting back into that. That might be the next game I will select. Um, because what, like, remember what I mentioned, uh, what I decided to do is, um, I will play, uh, a game for one month. So each month will be a different game. Um, now there are gonna be some games that will be staples, like Civilian and Tree of Savior, for sure I will be playing. Uh, I gotta get back into, uh, Blade and Soul as well, because, uh, they had just another expansion recently. The Silver Frost Mountain, so I'll have to get back into that. But I think the main reason why I can't play Trio Savior is because of the gigantic spiders in that game, and it just rubs me the wrong way. And I scream like a little biatch, like I really do. Like the, there's actually I should link the uh, the episode where I screamed because of the spider. It was pretty funny. I should turn that into a highlight. It was that dang funny. But yeah, as you can see, Tempest is very versatile, um, and she is very just sexy and just, you know, and there's so many types of customization to that I like in regards to skin tone, um, because to me, it is very important for a game to be very diversity inclusive and diversity friendly, and Billion to have, like, my skin tone in this game, I was so shocked. You know, and even the deepest skin tones as well. Um, because, I mean, I understand there's some games where, you know, maybe let's say there's no skin customization because it's a time period kind of game. I get it, but I, I feel like most of the time, to me, people want their characters to be a reflection of themselves too. You know, or to be a reflection of what they aspire to be. You never know, you know. I mean, I'd aspire to be a sexy Tempest like that. That would be pretty cool. Whoa! Look at that. All those crabs. Long day for jokes today. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so I got a critical. Not too shabby. Whoa! Okay, I did not. I need to be aware not to step into those. Uh, but, yeah. We're going to probably do this dungeon like three times because... Uh, sometimes you're not lucky enough to get the heroic items right off the bat. Um, so you may have to go in twice. You may have to go in three times. And, uh, yeah. And I was having a little bit of lag when I was going into, into town. Um, so it must be a very busy time, uh, this evening, too. But most of the time I notice people, I mean, people are playing games any time of the day. Uh, but for me, I, I, I try what I try to do is I alternate my um, the times that I stream. So sometimes you'll see me streaming in the day, uh, and then other times you'll see me streaming like this in the evening. Um, but what I notice though is um, I get more traffic uh, of people coming in in the day than during this time, which is kind of interesting. It is. All right, let's take a look. Oh, she's taking on the boss. Ooh, so sorry, girl. This is Yagari. All right. Oh, I'm in civilian mode. Let's go do that. Okay. All right. 
All right, we're doing so far so good. Civilian mode. Hello. All right. Slowly, slowly taking her, taking them out. All right. So let's get that incantation, incantation stone. All right. Blocking the door has dissipated. This is good. All right. Let's. Let me keep going here. All right. There we go. Take Yokari down. All right. Up, oh, let's go here. All right, let's keep going. And then the other thing too is once I get my uh, graphics card installed, um, then I will start to play Terra because I I want to see why Terra everyone makes such a big deal out of that game. You know, like, I understand with Guild Wars 2 because it is epic. Like it's such a good game. It has a really good, rich, diverse story as well. Um, so, and my character in that game is max now to level 80. Um, so I've been, I'm really excited to see um, the expansion and how that's gonna go. All right, let's see here. Wow, it's like they're just taking everything. It's like I can't get anything. It's like, man. Jeez. This is the reason why sometimes I don't like playing with people. Because it's like, although I like having that, you know, experience bonus. But at the same time, I'm just like, ugh. Alright, so let's use that since we're here in the dungeon. Come on. There we go. I'm always running out of energy. It's like ridiculous. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here. Let's keep going. But like as you can see, I mean Tempest is designed for multiple group attacks as you can see and it's like I could hold on my own. Even if I was not playing with someone else, I would be okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean she's really holding on her own. She's doing very 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 well And I've just been hooked on the ARPG. I've just been on this ARPG kick honestly. I really really have All right, let me see if I can show some of her other moves see, I can't even see myself my gosh, so that's the other thing that she can do. It's kind of like a, a multiple uh, dash which is pretty cool. I'm running out of energy. Yeah, you're always running out of energy, dear Tempest. Alright, so let's keep going. Alright. Alright, at least I got that one. Jeez. And if it's ever quiet like this, hey, what's up, wizard? How you doing, man? What's going on? Oh my gosh. So much carnage going on right now. Ah! Alright, so let's get that necklace. Let's get the undershirt there. Alright, there we go. Energy has dissipated. Let's keep going. Let's keep going! But yeah, nothing else really has been going on. Not, I'm not really excited. Not a lot, a lot of like amazing out of this world like MMO, you know, RPG news. The only thing I'm really excited about is Bless Online. Ooh, no. He is something else here. This lady, there's no lady. This is a beast here. A very ugly beast. Well, let me get out of the way here. Let's get my health replenished here. This is a very, very, very ugly, ugly beast. No joking around here. Let's go. I, I can't wait till I get... Whoa! Okay, I gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, shoot. Woo! Man! They are not playing. Wow! Here we go. Alright, civilian mode. Let's go. Alright, 
Come on. Yeah. All right, so I got the uh I children. All right. Okay. Uh B ranking's not too bad. Uh you know, wizard, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. So once you get a better class here, then you can spin. Hopefully I get experience. That would be kind of sweet. And, uh, well, I got some devil solves. That's all right. It's cool. All right. Sweet. All right. So let's see. So I did get. Oh, okay. So this is a dusk weapon set. So I'll have to go through again. Now, here's another thing. Another tip in regards to Davillion is this is what's called your identify and anytime you identify you have to spend silver for that um, but it helps you to identify your heroic um, items and as you can see here there is a set here there I mean there's so many different combinations and there are a lot of wonderful websites out there that can help you with figuring out what type of Davillion equipment set that you want so I got the first half which is the um, is the shoes and then let's see did I get the other half no I did not okay so I'm gonna have to go back in again and that's really what you have to do you have to go back in again to get the other two pieces and it can be a little annoying but but that's just how it is you know when it comes to a ARPG uh, I started getting back into Davillion a little bit or not Davillion, pardon me, Diablo. Get those two mixed up. I'm playing Davillion right now. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to get into um, Diablo again. But it's like, ever since, like, I, you know, I would play, you know, with other people. And people just didn't like me. So I just kind of gave up on it, though. Like, I really did. And, like, I often, for me, I would play with, um, with my friends. And, you know, they just gave up on me. My Like, I, ha I have, like, a new set of friends now just because, you know, everybody was being super difficult and uh, jerky to me, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, because I don't, like, for me, I only play Diablo with my friends, you know? And uh, it was sad because, I would like, I would want to play and then... They would come up with excuses. They're like, oh, I'm tired. But then I would still see them on plane, you know? And, like, I'm like, this is my thing. Like, okay, um, if you don't, you know, want to play with me, that's fine. But just be honest, you know? And, uh, yeah, it, it's been very interesting. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Okay, let me see. Can I exit? Yeah. Because I was like, where are the enemies? I haven't seen anybody. But no, wizard. I'm doing good, though. It's been kind of interesting. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, I got an achievement. Ooh, Phoebe box. Or Feeble box. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so here's another thing, too, that I want to show quickly here. And that is talisman boxes. Now in order to make a talisman box you got a craft and what happens is um you can break down any items that you don't need into magic dust so as you can see here the more you add that's the more unique um things that you can craft so i can craft a uh, craft uh, i can craft a talisman box i can also craft um health potions as well which is cool um but let's all right let me see here all right, so let's do the talisman box. So all you have to do is you hit craft, you hit okay. Excuse me, it'll go through the crafting uh, mode. And then uh, that's one of your daily challenges is to create one, which is always cool. And now I'll also create a health potion and this is like the feeble instant one. And then you just hit craft and it goes through that. And then you're good to go. So I got four of them. And then I usually keep it down here 
um, when I'm in a jam and if I really do need it. You also, with other items, you can get what's called um, hunt. It's called haunted magic dust. Um, and then you can make what's called a sacrificial uh, talisman box. So it gives you better chances of, of getting a stronger talisman. But here's the thing about talisman boxes is it's at random. So I'll give you an example. So here's the talisman box. You just right click to open it and it'll open it twice. And then it'll go through, kind of spin through. And then as you can see, it's random. So I got these two cards, which are two of the same, which is kind of interesting. So once you do that, then you want to go into talisman storage. Now talismans kind of act as like an additional attribute um, to what you already have with like your armor and your weaponry and all of that. So what you can do at every level, uh, you know, level 20, 30, 40, and 50, you can add additional um, talis uh, talisman cards to make you a lot stronger. So you can combine them. Combining them is going to give you more um, unique, um, I would say unique uh, abilities or effects or unique, I would say unique, uh, unique effects. So we're going to combine. So this is what you do. You hit combine and then I would be using this card and then all you do is you just put the other cards and it's similar to like, you know how like if you've played Blade and Soul, how you feed your weapon with other weapons or other accessories, this is the same principle. So you're taking this card and you're feeding it to this card and it'll say here 50% growth and your cards also by feeding them gets more experience so, or growth in this case. So then you want to just click fuse and it fuses it so if you look at this card now i have plus 312 magic defense as well as health in battle health regeneration at plus five or plus 0.5 which is not bad um and then you can equip more so i have two equipped talismans um so then we'll go to this one and uh, okay, so we'll click close on that one and then we'll go back. You can also salvage them, but I usually just combine to just give my talisman cards more strength. So we're gonna combine again. And as you see, this one gives me um, 0.83 critical damage, which is not bad. So then we're gonna put the same card here. And as you can see, I get 106% growth. So let's fuse them. And now, as you can see here, my critical damage has gone up. And this is a more, I would say, a better card because of the ranking. I believe there is four, either four or five stars is going to be the max. But this is a heroic um, talisman. Right now, it's at level... It says, we'll see what level is it at right now. I think it's level two, but the max is 15. So that's pretty much a quick tutorial on how to use talismans, um, but it's very, very um, important to, to do that. And then underneath here, you can salvage an item which will either make haunted magic dust or magic dust. You can um, use enchanting stones, which you get later on um, to help uh, enchant your um, artifacts that you have. Um, you can also enchant weapons too, which will be I'll probably be getting stuff like that. You can also fuse items together, which is kind of interesting to get better items. And you can also refine um, to change your equipment's tributes, and then you can do that as well. So like we'll we'll do this as an example here. Um, so let's say I take these shoes, and I take this out, or let's see if it'll let me. Oh, okay, I see. You have to have material to be able to do that. So um, once you get the material, then you can um, refine it, which is pretty cool. But I don't really use a lot of refining, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I hope Wizard 2, uh, to kind of tie it back in, I'm um, doing good. I hope everything's well with you. I appreciate you and Goro being in here today. That really means a lot. Um, because like when I first started... Uh, streaming uh, wizard was one of the people who really encouraged me to keep going even though there were many times where I was like oh my gosh I should quit cuz people hate me <laughs> people don't like me but but it's people like him and um, Raven honey and so many others that um, inspire me and, and help me to to keep going here 
All right, party leader. Okay, I'm getting out of this party. I'm sick of it. Okay, let's see here. Can I? Okay, so to leave a party, you just have to click here, leave party. And you do that, and then you're gone. Because I was like, I'm tired of waiting. So now here's some of the options. These are the loot, the items that I, I want to get. Um, those are the pots. So I did get these, so I just need these two to complete my set. Um, so bosses have a hundred percent chance of dropping the rare equipment, which is always a good thing. Um, but if you want to do the party finder, it it might take some time. So as you can see here, uh, average wait time is four minutes and six seconds. Sometimes you can be lucky where it's quick. Other times, not so much. So we'll we'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens. Oh, well, I was... Okay, so Wizard says, well, I like what you do, you know? No, I really appreciate that, man. I really try to... I, I try to bring myself. I try to bring intellectualism. And I'm just trying to represent women of, of color here on Twitch. Because there's not a lot of us. Especially the ones that are, you know, us plus size women you know not all of us are unhealthy and smell bad uh, but uh i i always try to to bring something unique i mean look i'm no supermodel you know i'm not a you know a titty streamer or you know i'm not here to be popular i'm here to be an educator and i'm also here to be someone that enjoys giving social commentary and and bringing a different angle um to what people think about not only women in gaming but but other minority groups and and subcultures so i really appreciate the support um it really means a lot and if you have any questions please do not be shy uh, i will do my best to uh uh pardon me here my lips have been really dry so i do recommend for me i've been using uh olive oil and uh also make sure you know check with a medical professional before you put anything on your lips too you know that's a lip balm or something so you don't get a breakout you know but uh yeah it's it's been interesting though i i've seen a really a growth with the show and people really seem to uh, like what I've been doing kind of changing the game every month um, so it's been kind of keeping continuity uh, but it also helps me to have a better understanding of the game uh, versus before when I started I used to kind of just do quick kind of reviews of a game um, and then I feel like that that doesn't help you to understand the game uh, which is important. So let's get into some news, you know, um, and just, you know, kind of go over some stuff I, I didn't have a chance to do before. Now, Overwatch beta includes everything from the full game launch. This is coming from GameSpot, one of my favorite sites to find out about gaming related news and, uh, entertainment as well while many beta tests offer a limited slice of what the game will offer the ongoing overwatch open beta includes everything that will be there when the full version launches later this month according to the director jeff kaplan who confirmed that on the official blizzard forums in response to a question about how the beta's content stacks up with the full game he responded the version you are playing now is what will go beta to try things done or try to get things done quickly and at high quality aren't lost on our community. But we also never want to sacrifice the quality of the game by putting something live that isn't up to our standards. Uh, you know, to be honest and, and uh, to keep it real like I always do, this is probably the best response I have ever heard in regards to the reason why it was removed. We removed it from open beta because we received a ton of great feedback on how to improve the system. We've had a tough choice. It would have been awesome to have featured in an open beta and launch, but we felt like we could really improve on some things. So we opted to have the feature come out shortly after launch. We are hoping um, that our efforts in the closed beta to try things done or try to get things done quickly and at high quality aren't lost on our community but we also never want to sacrifice the quality of the game by putting something live that isn't up to our standards 
I, you know, to be honest, and and uh, to keep it real, like I always do, this is probably the best response I have ever heard in regards to uh, a game. Okay, you guys, step out. All right, man. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Um, you gotta live life, man. Nothing wrong with that. So I'll see you soon, my friend. Um, but I I do agree with that. I think one thing. Um, sometimes it's really easy um, to release something because of the hype train but here's here's something I've, I've kind of learned about that is for developers I, I would rather have them take the time to make a good quality game and a good quality product which helps me to reinforce my loyalty to them versus just putting something out because it's popular you know, um, I think the best way, the best example of that is Tree of Savior. There was so much hype for Tree of Savior. It's a great game, but once some of the issues started to happen, such for me, it was like when you would be in a town, there would be so many people on the particular server that it would slow you down. You know, there would be a lot of lag for me. And I mean, they're, you know, they've, they've greatly improved on that. Um, but I just think that it would have been better for for them to just have taken the time um, to get that, you know, take to to. I would say it would have just been better to just have it released in one period instead of. I mean, I'm really grateful to them doing the early access. Don't get me wrong, but I think with the early access and having all the problems that I was having, such as like, um, you know, I would be playing and then um it would start to lag on me and you know it, it made me you know and, and it made me feel disappointed and then like i've seen a lot of the reviews on steam and it hasn't been really good so i would say i would rather have the developers just you know not do an early access in that case and just release the game and have everything resolved you know um but i really I, I really like Tree of Savior. Um, I just think that so many people were so hyped up and really, really like it that when the early access came out and then I started to have some of those problems, uh, I started to kind of feel like, you know, do I want to continue playing it? But once those problems got resolved, you know, now I'm really enjoying it. But I always love when, like, and let me get, let me tell you, uh, IMC Games, they are also very amazing with their customer service. If you have problems with the game, they get right to you. Also, shout outs to NCSoft. They have amazing customer service. Like, I was having a problem with Blade and Soul, um, and they got to it right away. So, there's nothing wrong in regards to that, but I just think sometimes when you're rushing to get something out, um, and you start to have problems, then that sometimes causes people to lose their faith in a game. And I really don't want people to lose faith in Tree of Savior because it is really well done. And the team for Tree of Savior has put a lot of work and a lot of effort in creating this, to me, the, the best successor to Ragnarok Online. And it's wonderful. Like, I really like it. But once it was kind of buggy and you know stuff like that and and uh i remember i would be playing too and um you know there would be moments where the loading times would be really long because there were so many people uh you know and sometimes I, maybe you know for me i need to have more patience that's really what it boils down to but i really like um what they uh what they mentioned um in regards to um um, in re oh wait oh I think I think they're back all right so let's cancel the uh, matchmaking here but let's go all right let's try again here okay let me see here I want to see if I could get three people that would be so epic Try to do this. Uh... Let 
just send it out and these are what I call your megaphone where it's kind of like that large mega message that helps you to let everybody know like you know what you're interested you know in doing um, especially with dungeons that's the best way to get in touch with people um, to get into a dungeon is is going that route um, but I think I'm gonna have to do this alone because it seems like no one cares uh, so I'll just do it by myself I'm strong enough I can do it I can do it I believe in myself but I am very loyal to Davillion I really like what Tryon has done with this game um, it's so well done it's so graphically beautiful I like the storyline I like that the quests you know you get those kind of auto quests come up and I actually do like the auto run feature because sometimes it's like you know when you're clicking and attacking so many monsters it's kind of nice to just click and go you know it's kind of kind of refreshing I'm just checking to see if anybody was interested but apparently not and also let me talk about how I feel about like civilian as a community like I would say on a community standpoint I find that some people are really really nice which you could say about any MMO community um, I find that some people are really nice but then there are other times where people are just really mean to me you know or they just want to kind of play and collect the items for themselves you know um, which I'm not I'm not a huge fan of that i think that if you're gonna do a co like a co-op kind of mode i think you should be fair but that's just me you know um it's kind of like a race to get the item first which is kind of crazy but uh but no i'm really enjoying myself in this game so far i mean this is like what day four or five playing it and i'm really liking it though it's really fun I th honestly, we're gonna get to level 18. Just watch. It's gonna be epic. But yeah, I think Overwatch, I mean, I feel Blizzard as a company too, they always care about their fans, you know, and I think any developer should because your fans are gonna, they either help you to make or break the response to your games. So listening to that input is very important. Shoot. Um, but yeah, it, it's very vital to listen to the input of your audience, you know, it's not necessarily like just because the game is of a popular series, that doesn't mean that it's going to be, you know, a success if the fans are not standing by it. So it'll be really interesting to see um, how Tree of Savior is going to do. Um, another game too that kind of you know, I don't hear a lot of people talking about is Asta. Um, I think Asta would have done a lot better um, if it did not come out at this time. So I mean, with Tria Savior and um, you know all those big title games coming out all simultaneously, um, I really think they should have waited until maybe a little bit of the hype kind of goes down for certain, like for certain games. Uh, but I really, I really, really do. I mean, Asta, it's it's your classic MMO. You know, I just like the artwork too. The artwork is really, really nice for it. All right, let's take out this. Uh, well, I took out that shaman like really quick, man. Come on. I'm gonna try my other mouse too, cause sometimes this mouse, it's like I have to click a little bit harder on it. All right, there we go. Oh, we got a boss here. All right, it's the billion time. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, do the combination of a little bit of everything here. Oh my god. Come on. Excellent. I think I got the other half. We'll see. Yeah, and uh, that's the other thing too. I hate how fast you run out of energy too in this game though. I really wish they would kind of make the um, <clears throat> the regeneration a little bit faster. Um, but it will get faster depending on what type of um, armor and set 
uh, that you have. So there we go. Take out these green water yog. There we go. Not enough energy. And I'm not getting as many combo Not attacks as I would like. So I was expecting a little bit more. Um Okay, there we go. I just think once I get my my skills a lot better, then I think I'll have better combo attacks. Alright, there we go. I think I got the other half. Ah, shoot. I cannot believe my inventory is full. This is ridiculous. Okay, so let's equip. Alright, so let's get that. And you just click and drag to destroy things too. Alright, yes I do. Alright, so we'll use that. Oh, uh, really? Well, I could refine that. Not craft, pardon me. Let me uh, salvage that into some dust. Yeah, I'll salvage this as well. See, these I don't even really need. And there's a lot of strategy too to this game as well, so you will learn that very quickly. And the other thing that I like too is um, they show you kind of the cross comparison in in regards to um, um, compatibility of your items, which is always nice. Uh, but I think I'm good there. Let's identify that because I think I got the other set. So I got the shoes and I got the braces. All right, let me get that. All right, so we equipped that. Okay, so let's see what we got here. All right, so we also got the spear. So we got the complete set. Wow, I was not expecting that. And you can do mul you know multiple ones at a time, which is pretty sweet. All right, so as you can see here. Um, it brings down my physical, but I'll have the complete set. There we go. So I am completely, um, completely set, ready to go. And yeah, we are good to go. So I have the complete dust weapon, um, equipment set. So let's salvage that. We'll savage these. And I got some haunted dust. We'll savage that too. Uh well that necklace might be helpful. Let's see here. I'll put that in. Uh let's see here. Yeah, let's salvage that necklace because I don't really need it. And yeah, that's about it though. Alright. And then you can always check your dailies here. So as you can see, um, the more points you get, that's the more uh, stuff that you do. Alright, so let's keep going here. Let's see what's in here. nothing much in there but I have the dark uh, I, th I think it's like dark equipment set so I completed that which is always cool All right, let's see here I think I'm going backwards am I going backwards uh, let's see here no I think I'm, I'm on the right track I think we'll see <laughs> Cause I'm always running in a, a circle here. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm running in a circle. I'm like going back instead of forwards, idiot. 
always doing that. But we have just completed the first hour here of SIN TV. I am your host, of course, Quita, aka Belasian Quita. We have some wonderful people in the room today. Um, really appreciate the the amount of support. I, I've just I've been flabbergasted with how many of you relate to me and relate to my stories and you know if you have suggestions for games i am always open to listen um, to that um unless it's a game that won't work on my system like you know overwatch i tried playing overwatch right no way not even happening all right got a mighty strike finally Okay, we are almost to level 18. I can taste it. There we go. I'm running out of energy. Once you pass, honestly, like level 10, yeah, it's kind of rough. You know, the grind. It becomes grind. It becomes a grind. But I mean, that is to be expected. That's the challenge of an MMO is to see, you know, how long you can withstand the leveling process. And it takes a lot of dedication to play these type of games. I'll tell you that. Alright, there we go. Alright, let me get my health back up here. There we go. Got a fighter there. And an instant potion concentrate. Alright, let's keep going here. Let's get out of the way there. Yo, devastating smash, always good. And those, you always want to get that. You want to get devastating smash, instant judgment, that kind of stuff. And the reason why is because it helps you to level up faster and you get a bonus by doing that. That's like in Tree of Savior where um, when you get a critical hit, um, it helps you to... Uh, to level up even faster so i highly recommend that you you want to pay a lot of text uh, te attention to your dexterity as well because it helps you to hit your criticals a heck of a lot better um let's take a look because i saw we got a um i thought i got a spear okay I got a, it's like the van whatever spear Okay, so let's use that VB potion box. Uh, that's a tough undershirt. Huh. I don't see it. Interesting. Alright, well, let's keep going here. Alright. Usually, yeah, it takes about one or two times to go through a dungeon before you complete your set. And every dungeon is going to have a different set. So I, I highly do recommend that. Uh, whoa, let's get out of there. Shoot. Alright, let's go. Alright, so let's get into civilian mode here. Wait. Yeah, because we want to take full advantage. Ah, shoot. Alright, let's get that F1 there. He's not one of my favorite enemies, this Lady Crandish, I'll tell you that, but look at that. Slay! Epic Slay. Alright, so did a, I got a B on myself, that's not bad. Took me too long to defeat that boss though, my gosh. 13 minutes. Well, I did get a uh, chaos fruit. That's always a good thing. Uh, let's get those. All right, let's look at my skill tree. Okay, so we have Lancer and we have Slaughter. So we have Electric Field or Stern Burst. Uh, generate Storm Field. 
prevents enemies from moving or attacking. I think I'm gonna go with that. That might be smart for later on. Okay, so I learned Storm Verse. Let's get the heck out of this dungeon and continue the story here. Alright. Now, I have another story for you coming from GameSpot. Uh, Fallout 4's new update arrives on the PS4 Xbox One, adding Survivor Mode. The new 1.5 update for Fallout 4 is now live on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and this was on the 6th of May, so not too long ago. Bethesda has announced. Most notable among the changes is the addition of Survivor Mode. This is the game's hardcore mode, which places a premium on resource management. Items can be harder to find, you deal and take more damage, fast travel is disabled, quick saving and most auto saves are gone, and so on. You can get a more in-depth explanation of what to expect from their previous coverage. 1.5 also adds support for the upcoming Far Harbor expansion, which will be coming out May 19th, and fixes various bugs. A full rundown they have is below. But I think this is good. Uh, for Fallout, it helps to kind of refresh the game. It helps it to not be redundant and boring. Um, you know, I, I that's what I always liked about like the Fallout expansions. But here's the thing. Fallout to me is like a hardcore game. You know, it's for people who really, really like that open world, you know, kind of a little, little bit sandbox type of feeling. And uh, for me personally, that's not my type of game. You've seen what what happened to me when I was playing Fallout New Vegas. I mean, it was it was awful. And speaking of that, I have my Xbox One, so I will be setting that up. I got my PS3, so I gotta set it up too. Um, but I've just really been in this mode um, where I've just been. Um, I'll say hi back. Oh, did I announce hi? Uh. <laughs> hilarious uh, okay let me say hi <laughs> hello and you also have these emotions to these kind of active moves this is hilarious check this oh, out yeah. doing the dance look at that yeah buddy hello <laughs> oh man oh, yeah. yeah it's pretty funny um uh, let's see they're asking me um, if you need to be uh, level 17. Oh, level 16. Well, pardon me as I like open my inventory here. I would recommend being... Let's see here. Yeah, I usually recommend being at level 17 or being at the set level um, just because it it just helps you. Well, that was nice. See, now that was a nice moment for me. Here I am thinking like people are so mean to me. Incorrect here. All right, so let's go speak with Erica in Win in Winbrook Village. But no, I really am impressed with uh, Fallout 4. Uh, I mean, the fact that you can build your own community is so epic. Like, it's really cool, and and the game is very diverse. I mean, you could look African American, you could be Asian, you could be white, you could be whatever. You know, I think that's really cool and. And I like that post-apocalyptic feel to it, too. Um, so it is a very nice touch um, to the game. And it is very well done. I mean, when, when people think of excellence, they think of, uh, of Fallout 4. I mean, for sure. You know, but yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what other updates and what the expansion is going to do. Definitely. It, it'll be very, very interesting to see what will be done. Now, here's another story, too, the one I was talking about the last time, and it's coming from Princeton University. More than 40 diversity task force initiatives completed or in progress. Pardon me here, my throat is dry.
Princeton University has made significant progress during the past year to foster a more inclusive campus climate and continues to implement new programs and practices related to issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion. In May 2015, a special task force on diversity, equity, and inclusion endorsed more than 40 strategies to improve the campus environment. A progress report on the task force recommendation notes that a year later, all of the recommended actions have begun and many are complete. We have made important progress this year, but our work is ongoing. Vice Provost for Institutional Equity and Diversity, Michelle Minter said. Ensuring an inclusive campus climate requires a sustained and long-term commitment. New activities and ideas will emerge, and we want to continue to engage students, faculty, and staff in these efforts. So, claps to that, because here's my thing. Diversity is not just black people and white people, okay? Because that's often the the mistake uh, when we think about diversity it comes from like the the historical trauma and it comes from you know stereotyping and you know that's just the way things are separate but equal like that kind of stuff but when you really think about diversity and equity it's about making sure that people who have disabilities people who are of different ages people of different um from different countries you know even people who communicate differently that's what some of the facets of diversity includes and equity is to me more about like the equality part it's about making sure that we understand and recognize the different populations that are within different college institutions so i think this is a huge step for princeton you know i think a lot of times when people think of ivy league they're not necessarily thinking about diversity because of the tradition of some of these universities so uh uh, kudos and mega claps to Princeton for really raising the bar and understanding that these populations actually do matter. I mean, I think a lot of times the assumption um, that's often there is when people think about you know, they, they just think that diversity at a college is, oh, yeah, we'll just include a diversity center and they'll all hang out there. We've done our job. No, there is more to diversity than just having a center. It is a 24-7 immersion. It is a 24-7 responsibility. I take it as a personal responsibility. You know, pardon me, like my buttons coming undone. Ooh, ratchet. <laughs> Um, but I, I honestly take it as a personal responsibility to make sure that I include that conversation, you know, and I include it in a way that's respectful. Cause I think the other thing too, when it comes to diversity is there's that assumption like, okay, let's just blame white people you know um and you know it's it's the social economic discourse that like everyone tends to focus on well some people tend to focus on um not to generalize but uh oh yeah and here's another tip too um now there are going to be um these warp zones so right now i've opened up three i have Lashburn for uh forest the adeline coast and esparon which is like the capital and all you do is you just click on it and you go boom and then you're good to go um but i just think it's really easy to kind of jump into that mindset i really think when it comes to diversity it's kind of like okay i'm a minority you know i've been through some you know cultural discourse so i'm just gonna you know blame i have to blame something to help me not deal with it which is understandable um but i think when it comes to diversity and you know in in i would say in the educational standpoint and and the community standpoint we all have to work together because if we're not working together what what that's pretty much doing is it's causing the marginalization this is why you know we have all these stereotypes um present is because you know, there's not a lot of people speaking up and talking about it. And I think on a college campus, nobody should feel that they're not comfortable there. Nobody, you know? 
so kudos to Princeton for for setting a good example and uh, raising the bar the way it's supposed to be. So now we gotta go speak to Baron Laurent. Baron Laurent. I just like how I ride on this llama, like you know, on the side. Like I'm so classy. Like look at this, it's hilarious. That is me riding on my so-called llama thing. It's like a raccoon llama. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Um, there are some other mounts that you can get, but yeah, it's kind of unique for an ARPG to have mounts like this. I thought it was kind of cool. All right, so we did that, and then we have uh, another one here. All right, mission is clear. All right, so we got two here to do. Lara's call. Well, I hope I do, good sir. I just wish there was more voice acting in this too. That would be pretty cool and some more voice acting would be great. Um, but yeah, it's it, diversity is something, that's what I'm going to, to grad school for is I want to get into, um, into educational media and like uh, do documentaries and stuff like that. I think it would be fun to do stuff like that. Um, because it always bothers me when people are being treated different because that's who they are, you know, and uh, I, I just, it breaks my heart. It really does. And for me, like, I always hated being treated different all the time. It puts a lot of stress in your life when people constantly point out that you're different, you know. Um, and you know, the other thing I don't like is when people stare at me. I hate that when people stare at me for my skin color like it gets on my nerves like I'm learning to just like not pay attention to it but at the same time it gets on my nerves it's just like I know I know I'm different from you you know if you have a question see I'm like one of those people where it's like if you have a question just ask me you know um, but when you stare at me it kind of makes me feel like you think I'm inadequate or you think I'm not like up to your standards like that's how I take it I mean sometimes mate you know sometimes I feel like I'm you know I'm overreacting you know and uh yeah it's just uh, yeah it's, it, it can be a little irritating I'm not even gonna lie but I mean that's the thing I like about the gaming you know about gaming is I feel like people are not judging me like that until they find out you know that I am a person of color then it becomes you know then sometimes it becomes a different conversation all right so we got another mission which is always good we're back in uh Lashburn hey uh forest here I don't think we've been here with the tempest before I don't think so all right so let's do that broken traps See, I just like to load up as many quests as I can, so that way I'm not traveling back and forth. It's kind of annoying, right? All right let's do that. Let's talk to the soul healer. It's going to be very important. Um, many times when you die, it damages your soul. And if you die a, a particular... So that's my Davillion or my human form. And then this is my Davillion form. And as you maximize the amount of souls you collect, then you can increase your Davillion uh, level. So you have a normal human level, and then you have a Davillion level. So it's kind of a unique game. Um, I usually go into Davillion mode when I'm dealing with more like difficult bosses. So that's usually the way it goes. Or, or my human form, and then this is my Davillion form. And as you maximize the amount of souls you collect, then you can increase your Davillion uh, level. So you have a normal human level, and then you have a Davillion level. So it's kind of a unique game. Um, I usually go into Davillion mode when I'm dealing with more like difficult bosses. So that's usually the way it goes. All right, so we got a whole crap. All right, so let's... Tons of quests. All right, so let's go to destroy the uh, spider dens here. Let's see what's going on here. Wolf trap. All right. And the thing I like too about the villain as well is the quest, they, they balance out according to your level. So it's not like you're going under level or over level. 
Um, and you have to be careful with that too in uh, Tree of Savior for sure. Um, just because sometimes if, see for me, I didn't know there was Capi like Calpia and Orsha. I did not know that. So you kind of have to juggle between Orsha and Calpia. So once you get to a certain level, you want to switch over. I'll show that when I do uh, Tree of Savior. Because it's something that I missed the first time around when I was playing. Alright, there we go. Take out those wolves. All right, so we finished that. Oh, one, another one here. Oh, okay. And here's another thing too. Not all quests you have to go back to the person to claim your reward. Other times you can, um, you can make, you can get your reward remotely, and that's what that check mark was. You'll see a check mark. Just click on it, and then you hit complete, and then you're good to go there. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, part of me for yawning, I did like I slept all day yesterday and then I was up like half the night, so I feel like my body is crashing. And I finally am like eating regular food again. I made some uh, chicken and mushrooms, I had it slowly boiled. Oh, I just like boiling chicken and eating it, like it's so epic though, I know. <laughs> No, it's a good time though. I like eating that and I got mushrooms with it. Um, so I'll be eating that the next couple of days. And I got some good seasoning. If you're looking for a salt-free seasoning, I really like Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash is awesome. So I did put some on there. I got two flavors. I got the regular like table blend, which is like the original. And then I got this other garlic version, which I'm going to try tomorrow. Um, but so far, I've been learning a lot about what my body likes and doesn't like. Like, if I eat yeast, like seasoning with yeast in it, it just makes me icky. Or if I eat anything with yeast, it makes me kind of icky. So, like, what I'm praying on and hoping is that I'm not, like, I, I don't have, like, an autoimmune disease or, like, gluten um, intolerance because that would suck. Because to find gluten-free stuff is not easy. Let me tell you, and it's super expensive too. So shout out to people who have, you know, gluten intolerance or gluten allergies. I not really give energy. props to you because it's not easy. Energy. It's really not. So you see this, it says can be completed remotely. Just click on that and you're good to go. You're good to go. Okay, so next let's go speak up with Hudson in the Marsh Spider swap yeah i hate spiders though i really do not a fan thank you i just hate them they're crawly and ugh, gross do you have a minute not a good time <laughs> all right so let's collect the dryad roots from the sylvian sorry if this is being really repetitive but the reason why i started off with the villain is i just wanted to kind of Start off with games that are really easy to play and then up the difficulty and show different levels of, um, of gaming um, advancement. Because I think sometimes it's really easy uh, to fall into just playing, you know, just playing games that like are super, super difficult, which is good. I mean, nothing wrong with a challenge. But I think for, for most people when you're starting the game, you don't want to get something so complicated that it turns you off or it makes you want to stereotype the gaming community. Because I know like when I first started playing, you know, I was only playing with people who were very like hardcore gamers. And it almost became a turnoff for me. You know, if you hardcore game, no, I have no problem with that. But I just think it's important to be respectful of other people. Like, everybody starts off, you know, and not everybody is, uh, ooh, Devastating Smash. Really excited about that. But yeah, not everybody is going to be, you know, aware of you know, all those really cool, obscure scenes in Final Fantasy series, you know? So I just think it's very important to realize that everybody's going to have a different level of how they, um, they play games. Like for me, I know I like games where it's very storyline heavy. I'm not the type that's into like a game like, for example, Black Desert Online, which I've played in the past. It was too complex for me, man. It was way, way too complex for me. I just, 
I couldn't get into it. That's how I felt about Guild Wars, the same thing, where... So, you know how sometimes when you listen to people, they make things way too complicated, when in reality it's not... You know, it's not as complicated as you would think, right? And, uh... What ended up happening for me was I got Guild Wars, and then I got the, uh, the expansion pack, Guild Wars 2, pardon me, and the expansion pack. Then I have the, then I come to find out that, like, you can't get into expansion until you get to a certain level. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, you know, so you always want to do your research before buying a game, because sometimes you don't need the expansion until you get into um, a certain level uh, of the game at that point. So like for, or and for the non-geek people too, that's why I do this show too, because I like to educate people um, just on things that are kind of, some of it's common knowledge, some of it's not. Um, but an expansion, for those of you who are new to the whole gaming thing, it just gives additional con like content and additional, sometimes it's additional content, other times it's alternate storylines and it just tweaks the game to give it more extendable playability and that's what an expansion is so for example um, in, co in console based gaming um, the Final Fantasy series um, there's Final Fantasy 10 and then there was Final Fantasy 10 2 which is kind of like it's it's kind of like the expansion of the story and added kind of different um, alternative stories and viewpoints now on a PC it kind of does the same exact thing uh, sometimes there are what are called downloadable content which is known as DLCs which can give you different weapons or different storylines or sometimes it can completely just it completely changes the game and makes it more challenging um, another example of that too from the Final Fantasy series is Final Fantasy um, there's Final Fantasy uh, 13, and then there's 13-2, and then there's Lightning uh, Returns. So it kind of, each piece adds a different angle to the story, different perspectives. So, um, but so most of the time, you don't really need an expansion for a game. Sometimes it will require it. So when you before you buy a game, make sure if you're at a gaming store or if you're buying it online, make sure you read the fine print. Because there are some games where you will need an expansion or you may need a special type of controller um, to be able to play the game pro more proficiently. Um, so, right, I was like... Alright, might as well. Because I was like, I thought they were going to come back at me. I was like, shoot. Out. All right, excellent. And we got deadly blow. I think we're going to make it to level 20. That's going to be my goal today. We're going to make it to level 20. That is my goal. Not enough energy. Oh, come on. There we go, critical. I'm running out of energy. Not enough energy. Yeah, another critical. That's always good. All right, so we did that. Let's go talk to. Uh, well, no, let's talk to Harry Gray. Stop. And you and you can also go into your map as well. Um, to see where you're going. So if you hit map, as you can see, I have it on the auto pathing, um, and then you can zoom in too if you need more detail. Um, you can click on the map and uh, money. move it around if you really need it. All right, hit complete. Oh, we got some hey, more. We're not hey. done with this area this yet. More unfortunate me. All right, let me see what I got new here. Well, that's the same thing, so I'll identify it. Now I think I'll savage it. 
Oh, well, these are kind of useless. Another quest. Got another main story quest. Oh, my bad here. Oh, come on. Okay, so this is just showing you how to make like talisman boxes. Um, so just like what I showed you before. You just hit craft. It'll make three of them. All right, excellent. And then all you do is you go here, right click, and you can choose how many you want to open up. I usually open up three at a time. Okay, and I got what I got. All right, so I got a Dazzling Chaser, Selfin, and Ice Queen. All right, so let's combine. A 25% growth, 37% growth. This will bring up, okay, my experience too. That's not bad. All right, so let's fuse. Come on, fuse. And that's it. That's really all you need here. Yeah, so my experience is at 37%, so that's not bad. Okay, so yeah, that's the talismans once again to be able to do that so we did that and you do get experience with those uh learning how to play the game which is always cool and then i did do that one already and uh i see what i usually do with quests is i like to start with my like side quest and then another main quest and then the mission quest so i kind of work my way up and then the other thing I like to do too before I go do that is I like to walk around because uh, sometimes you can miss other quests but I don't see any here so we'll go defeat the uh, damp skill warriors. Okay. Oh and uh, while we're walking around here let's let's talk about some more affordable mounts that I found too um, oh let me get these enemies out of the way here and then we'll talk about them. okay so the next one on the list that I recommend too is the Logitech now here's the thing I have had a up and down kind of uh, experience with Logitech like I I really am not a fan of Logitech headsets because um, I had one of their popular oh yay okay so I ended up okay so these are achievements and I'm one of these people I love achievements I love completion um, so as you go along you'll see these pop up so then uh, this one is obtain 10 golds from drops obtain 10,000 golds from drops uh, obtain a hundred thousand um, so and then this one I killed a thousand monsters yesterday now my next one is gonna be kill a hundred thousand monsters kill 10 million I mean there are a lot of achievements so I mean this game can never get too dry here as more enemies come for me here all right come on there we go She's very very powerful here and then look at this cool like dash which is good when you're kind of trying to get away from uh, tougher bosses okay so I completed that one all right let's go get some boar meat but yeah the Logitech 3 uh, G 300 s is not too bad 
And Amazon.com has it for twenty nine forty eight, which is not too shabby if you really think about it. All right, let's keep killing these boars. And you can always hit F, or you can click on it to pick it up. I really wish there was more of an auto pickup, though. That would be kind of cool. There we go. And look at that. We finished that one real quick. Alright, so we completed 50 basic repeat quests. That's good. So let's go uh, speak to Mrs. McDread and Aspiron. I think I'm going to wait. Let's, let's look at that female corpse. But yeah, for $29.48, that's not bad. It's got four like programmable buttons on the top. I would recommend this mouse more for people who have medium to small hands. Um, because for me, when I tried it, it was just kind of uncomfortable for me. Um, it wasn't that great. There we go. Alright, let's check out that corpse. All right, so we did that. Now we have to go destroy the damp scale prison with where this. Okay, so first you want to get rid of the enemies first, and then destroy it, cause that'll save you some uh, time and headache here. So we're done. Yep, you'll see your mom again, hopefully. <clears throat> Excuse me. Trying to take him out here. Okay, so now we have to destroy the Devil's Ring. But yeah, I mean, it, well, it has nine programmable buttons, which is really cool. So, and it has, you can even save your profiles, which is a nice touch too. It's got over five and a half stars because it is a very popular um, gaming mouse as well, which is always cool. So let's defeat this Devil's Ring. Plus, defeat all these cool yards. Look at that. Jeez. I took that out. Deadly blow. Not enough energy. Get my energy back. That's going to be the next thing I'm going to work on is the energy, I swear. We got the ring, which is always good. Free health potion. Alright, so let's speak to poor set along the burning leaf path. Ugh, I tell ya, having dry lips sucks, guys. Let me tell ya. Oh, my lips are so windburned. It's not even funny. I'm surprised I can even move my mouth. Alright, so we completed that. Oh, so close to level 19. Dagnabbit. Alright, let's go defeat these raging dryads. It's a lot of dryads. And it also, I was mentioning TTE Sports. Um, they do have a awesome uh, website where you can check out refurbished stuff. Um, which is at uh, store.thermaltake.com. Uh, USA.com I will have the exact link uh, but one of the really cool mouses too that um, if you're into like MOBAs or if you're doing MMOs in general is their Volos laser mouse and they have it refurbished for $49.99 which is not eh, not too bad and it has 10 different uh, profiles up to 140 promo uh, programmable um what well, a programmable micros so it's not too bad and uh it's very it looks very comfortable too but for 50 bucks not too too bad another one that's really popular from tte sports is the black element and this is a great price it's 37.99 and uh really classic red and black but you can also change it up to five different uh, light colors, which is really cool. Now with the Zelo Tez mouse, you can't do that. It kind of shifts through different colors. With the keyboard from TTE Sports, the Poseidon Z Blue, which I have, it's all blue. If you're more into customization, then you want to go more of the RGB 
uh, route. Um, so I've had both of those keyboards, but I like the blue one. Um, I just like the feel a little bit better. Now, with this mouse, the, excuse me, I keep burping, it's horrible. Uh, but with this model, the T90, um, you can program it to different colors as well, which is really nice as well. Now, the final mouse, which I would say is probably um, the second lowest cost one that I've mentioned, is the Theron. As you know, Theron is a very well-respected professional um, gamer, and he designed his own mouse. I mean, it's really sweet. They have it in white, and I believe there's a red uh, not red, a black version as well. Uh, but they do have the refurbished white version for $27.99. I mean, you really can't beat that. And um, I mean, their I mean, their mouses are really nice, um, very comfortable, um, and they have mouses for all different hand sizes, which I highly, I highly recommend you check them out. And uh, I mean, they have keyboards, they have headsets. I'm trying to look into getting a a brown switch mouse that's what i'm gonna try to do is get brown switch uh, just so it can be a little bit quieter because i notice when i listen back uh to my recordings what tends to happen is uh it tends to pick up the clicking which is kind of annoying uh so i will definitely be getting a uh, uh a brown switch one um, because they're a lot softer from what I've been reading. They're a lot quieter. Um, but you, I mean, keyboard, like gaming keyboards are ridiculous. If you're looking more for a budget too, I would recommend checking gaming peripherals from Asia. You, you know, you can get a pretty good bang for your buck, um, by doing that. So I think what I'll do the next time is I'm, or maybe sometime down the line, I'll share some of my favorite, um, or I, I would share my favorite affordable uh, gaming uh, keyboard and mouse combos. And uh, I'll check into monitors as well, too. D these are just some, like, some recommendations that I saw in regards to, like, price and affordability. But if you're the type that you're not really into online shopping, then go to your local electronics store and fill out the mouses, you know? Um, but I, most of the time, I like doing online shopping because it's convenient. And the thing I like too about Amazon is if, you really, if it really doesn't work for you, you can always ship it back, which is always cool. Ooh, this is this getting rough in here. Yes! Level 19. Alright, let's do this here. Let's get into civilian mode. You know what? I'm going to switch this over to my left because this is super annoying for me. Alright, let's do that combo. Let's see what four does. Oh well, yeah, of course I'm running out of energy. Yep, took him out real quick. Got that necklace. Let's get that health potion. Yeah, I bet I stock up on potions because you never know. But I'm noticing my regeneration is starting to kind of get a little bit faster, which is good. Um, okay, so let's go speak to Mrs. McDread and get that one out of the way. And then we'll continue with the mission quest. Because I have a feeling we're going to be in this area for, for quite some time. All right. But yeah, that's all I have to cover for news and uh, some gaming mouse recommendations. I'll have all the links below of the stuff that I've talked about today, so you can check it out. Let me know what some of your favorite gaming mouses are um, in regards to like affordability or just good quality stuff as well. Because sometimes you do get what you pay for. Um, I know I've bought mouses that are kind of under $10 and I ended up replacing them a lot. Uh, but then it depends how you use them. Like for me, I'm becoming semi-hardcore player. Um, and I play a lot to the point where I look at my mouse and there's like my fingerprints indented. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like ridiculous. Okay, so let's go to a spear on. And then once we get there, I'm going to get up and take a, a little break here. Because I've been sitting down for what, two hours now? Uh, so once we finish this one, then I'm going to get up and stretch. Because it's good to stretch, trust me. Um, you never want to sit down and play for, you know, 
two, three hours. It's not good for your, for me, it's not good for your circulation. So let's see what the warehouse manager has to say. Okay, that's all I had to do there. Uh, oh, enhanced stories. Okay, so let's expand. Um... Okay, so you get an expansion rune. So all you do is you just take that expansion rune and it expands your rare house by eight spaces. Alright, so I finished that. We're done there. Okay, let's go to our skill points. Where I want to put that. Alright, so I mastered that. Do I want to go electric field? Or do I want to continue with uh, storm burst? Fatal Lightning Electric Field. I think I'm gonna go with that. Just work our way around here. Okay, so I have this Storm Burst, so I think I'm gonna try that. And as you can see, my attacks are getting super full in here. Oh, you have PvP requests. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I will be right back. I'm gonna take a quick um, break here to stretch out and then uh, I shall be back in a moment.
All right, I am back and back. Had to take a little break there. You know how it goes. Like you got, you got to take a break sometimes. You really have to. Now I've been having this issue too today. Maybe it's because there's a lot of people in here. That's probably why. Um, but my frame rates have been absolutely atrocious when I'm in a city. But once I get out of there, then it's back to normal, which is really strange. All right, so let's go um, speak to Finan on the Burning Leaf Path. And my legs, the back of my thighs have been so sore. And it's not been from working out. I was helping, uh, like I was talking about it a little bit earlier, I was helping my parents with uh, doing yard work. Uh, we've been working on kind of landscaping and doing some cool stuff like that. And... Uh, I've never, I haven't done landscaping in such a long time, right? So, oh, I was hurting so bad. I was hurting so bad afterwards. Like, I could feel like my, the back of my legs were so tight. Like, I had to stretch out a little bit. Just kind of warm up, you know? Like, oh my gosh, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. And I'll probably join a guild too, because I heard like guilds are kind of nice in Davillion as well. Um, it just kind of helps you to find people to play and things like that. I was considering it. I thought it'd be cool. Um, but wait, I, wait a minute. I could get a lot of shoot. It. Come here. I was like, yeah, I could have leveled up with that. That would have been pretty. Pretty epic. There we go. Stupid. I'm not sure if those are squirrels or not, but. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's get a big group of them. Yes, mighty strike. Alright, get that potion. Look at that. Thunder. Yes. Hey, Anthony. What's up, man? What's up, man? And hella gamer 420 NA server, yeah, that's what I'm on. Um, but dude, you just chilling? Okay, that's cool, man. Yeah, I'm just chilling myself too. You know, I started playing Tempest yesterday, and the fact that I'm up to level 19 is epic. <laughs> like, pretty pretty epic. I don't even know where the heck I'm going. Okay, I, I thought I was going the right way. You know how it goes. Yeah, just cool, cooling. Yeah, man. And it is hot. It just got hot all of a sudden. Part of me is I'm like Maybe yelling into you. the mic like an a hole. Maybe um, meet again. But yeah, it just got really hot. So I'm like, you know, trying to be all professional today. You know, looking good. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, it's been crazy. It's been super, super crazy. And I've been listening to some new music again. Um, been listening to uh you know the funny thing is i've really been on this kick for some rick james i don't know i've just been listening to a lot of rick james a lot of rick james my you know my favorite rick james song is in the whole wide world you and i that's like an eight minute song of funkadelic proportions it's like i've just been listening to a lot of r and b uh, and and hip-hop lately I've kind of metal has kind of gotten a little boring for me, so I kind of go back and forth. Um, but out of energy. It, it, I, hopefully, metal will get Not better by the end of the summer. You know, we got a lot of new bands coming out, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Running out of energy. So it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Okay. And uh, okay, what would you like me to add you for? Hello, I'm not too sure here. But yeah, hey Anthony, what's up, man? I'm glad everything I'm has been good. Energy. Glad you're back. Um, but I've changed a lot of stuff energy. since you were last here, my friend. Um, I've energy. been pretty much, I decided energy. to play uh, one game for a whole month um, to kind of really immerse myself into it and to I'm understand it before like switching to something energy. else. Um, but Davillion is something I'm going to be regularly playing, definitely. It's pretty epic. There we go. Done and done. Oh, gotta get rid of those other pricks. Whoa! Did you see that? That one went overboard. 
Hashtag, you're done. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go defeat some rotting corpses. This is like my favorite part of the game where everything just goes gothic, right? Um, but, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Pardon me. Oh, I hate allergies, guys. My throat is dry. That's why I've been drinking a lot of water. It's just been horrendous. If it was in first person, it would be a good game. Uh, I don't know. That's up for debate, my friend. I think Civilian is a well-put-together game. I just feel that you just got to give it a chance. Like I thought the same way when I first started playing. I was like... Like a lot of people were reading, you know, they were like, oh, this is a Diablo ripoff, this. But it's not. It's really different. It's completely different in regards to, uh, like, certain types of mechanics. Um, you know, I mean, like, most of the time, it's, like, I always tell people, you know, you just, you got to give a game a chance. Like, for example, for me, I could say Fallout sucks after playing Fallout New Vegas, right? But I I will play Fallout 4 once I uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, once I get my uh, graphics card installed, you know. Um, but I always try to give a game a chance. I really try. And for me, I'm more story oriented than really you know caring about the little tiny you know details of mechanics, you know. And I like the story of Pavilion. I think it's interesting, you know. Not enough energy. I mean, I can't imagine to be like half human, half, you know, demon. I mean, that's pretty epic. I like it. Alright, let me get this troll uh, vanguard captain. Man, I like this lightning attack. I gotta use it. Alright, there we go. Killed the first captain. Ah, oh, shoot. Ooh, I'm about to die here. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize. All right, here we go. All right, let's do lightning. Oh, man, that's so epic. And especially Tempest really refreshes the game for me. Because um, I remember I was playing my shadow character, and eh, it was all right. Um, but I really, really like um, the Tempest. I'm glad they added her to the mix because it kind of spices things up for me. And I like having another female character, which is sweet. Energy. Look at that, man. So awesome. Not enough energy. Ah, come on. Okay, there we go. I was like, another amount of energy here. I was like, well, how much energy do I need here? So, get that lightning attack. There we go. All right, so we got three of five. We got a couple more to go here. All right, let's get this roll. Man, that attack is devastating. All right, so we got that done. I got two available. But yeah, man, it's it, that's just how it is, you know. I, I try to keep open-minded. But one thing I'm kind of absolute on is if the storyline sucks, I won't play it. I need a good storyline. I really do. If the storyline is not good, I will not play. If it sucks, I'm like, I'm not even going to waste my time. But that's just how I am, Anthony. That's really how I am. I'm running out of energy. Alright. Yeah, you're always running out of energy, Miss Tempest. There we go. Going, going, going. Here, get that lightning. There we go. I like that move a lot. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's go speak to. Well, oh no, I have to de uh, destroy these monsters. I'm running out of energy. Okay. Yeah, your voice. See, that's my only thing is I hate running out of energy. It's not a good sign. All right, there we go. So we finished that. Uh, all right, let's go collect some venom. 
Venom's always fun, but yeah. So yeah, we got a hell of a gamer in here, and we also have Anthony. What's up with you guys? I hope everything's going well. Um, but I tell you, man, it's just been... Oh, these seasonal allergies have been killing me. Like when I was doing yard work outside, I was just choking up. Like I, my eyes were watery, my throat was itchy. I am, I was not having a good time. Come on, there we go. All right, there we go. So I got a whole bunch more I gotta get here. Yep, there we go. Hashtag Mega Flex. Insufficient energy. All right, let's go here. Yeah, that move is good to kind of give you time. I'll probably use that move when I'm with the boss to knock the boss down as soon as possible. Um, just because, like, some of the next upcoming bosses, major bosses, they're gonna be kind of rough around the edges, not gonna lie. There we go. I'm running out of energy. Ah, come on. Oh, I thought I was gonna die there for a second. I was just like, jeez. Alright, got that. Okay, so now we have to speak to Taurus at the Belmont Forward Camp. So let's go do that. Uh, quite a way there, but we'll get there. Whoo, geez, that took out a lot out of me, my gosh. All right, let's talk to him. To oh, we completed that one. All right, sweet. All right. Them. So let's go take the path leading to the Crack Temple. Ooh, new area. Good old Crack Temple. See, my, my HP is going up, but my energy hasn't gone up yet. So I got to work on that. Oh, look at that lightning. I like the detail. All right, so let's go defeat these berserkers. Come on. I am going to try out my new mouse uh, tomorrow, um, but I just wanted to keep the old one on so I could get on fast so I was not, like, wasting time. There we go. Devastating smash. Yep, got those evading berserkers. All right, so let's go defeat Cerberus. Good old Cerberus. Good times. All right, yeah, this is a new area for me. Now the key to this, to this boss here, is you gotta you gotta move right away, cause the, like as you can see, he will get you with that flame attack. Let's go into Devillian mode. Not playing. All right, there we go, there we go. Take him out, take him out. See, the Devillian mode is not doing much for me defeating this enemy by much. It's really not doing much for me at all. Yeah, not at all. Oh, shoot. Let's get out of here. See, F3, perhaps. Yep. There we go. I'm just waiting for my potions to kind of come back into play here. Shoot. But as you can see, Cerebris is a very, very, very tough boss. Not as easy as you may think. Alright, and F1. There we go. Alright, so that's the main attack that's been kind of helping me out here. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's get him. Ah! Fiddlesticks, there we go. Alright, got, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so let's keep going here. Can't use this yet. Alright, there we go. Yes! That was too easy. No, not really, not really. Okay, so now we gotta go destroy the uh, suspicious rock. 
Now with my other character, that battle was quite hard. Not gonna lie, it was pretty hard. Alright, so this, okay, so with this level, um, or this area, you can do it with co-op if you want, I believe, because I know there's another area you got, yeah, this is with co-op. So you can co-op this, but I'm gonna try it solo. Alright, so let's accept that. Alright, so this area, I'm probably gonna die a couple times, so you're gonna have to bear with me. So we got the first wave of enemies. But you can do this with more than one person, but as you can see, you can do it by yourself if you're at a strong enough level. There we go. Yeah, we're doing good so far though, not gonna lie. Alright, got that critical. So you can see why I put those two moves together, the Cyclone and the Spin Slash. It just makes things really efficient for me here. Yeah, you definitely don't want to run out of energy. Especially here. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Insufficient energy. Oh, uh, yeah. Always insufficient energy. Yeah, cause that, that lightning really helps, I'll tell you that. Alright, there we go. Got another round here. Devastating smash is always good. Insufficient. They are whooping my butt. So here's Bell Mom. You wanna get? Yeah, you wanna? Oh sh shoot! All right. Well, I am in Devillian mode, so I can do that now. So let's let's do that. Wait. Can't use it yet. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use this attack the entire time. Get that meter down. Alright. Oh, gotta be careful here. Alright. Because that fire is no joke. You will die very quickly in this game. If he spits hot fire on you, you're gone. Like, like that. So... trying to uh all right so let's get that and use that all right so let's... yeah and this is where you really want to get them down is right there Okay, and then you want to run away at that point. But you want to use that lightning attack to knock him down. Shoot. He's got me pretty good though, I'll tell you that. And you can see, your health takes a while to regenerate here. I mean, that's the challenge of this game. Alright, so I gotta use that use and... Oh, not ready yet. Alright, so let's go in. Use that lightning. Get it. Yep. Not ready yet. I'm running out of energy. 
of energy. Yeah, oh, he's running out. Okay, got, ah, shoot. Yeah, you just gotta hit him and go. That's all you really can do if you're doing this solo. And I also have to learn how to turn on the Davillion mode right away instead of waiting for the the full meter. So Wait. there we go. Ah, shoot. So as you can see, that attack he's got there is no joke. So there we go. So you just gotta run around, at least get yourself in the mid thousands. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So there, you want to use that to uh, increase your attack here. Lightning. We got him. We got him. Yeah. So that's how you do it when you're playing solo. And I didn't die, which is kind of impressive. Not even going to lie. So I did destroy a dimensional rift. Okay. So now let's go speak to Average or Average in Lostburn Village. So. Yeah, that's how you would do it solo, but it's not easy though. You have to be around level 19, I would say even level 20, um, to really try that. Uh, but that's why I like Davillion though, is the the character will always, uh, well, the uh, quest will always be geared towards your level, but sometimes you have to go a little bit higher. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Come here, all right. I figure I might as well get some help. Yes, yeah, mighty strike it. Insufficient energy. All right, go. Not enough energy. There we go. Yeah, just take them out. That's all you gotta do, man. Real simple. All right, let's see here. I think I got some new equipment. What else did I get? It was new. Ah, oh, we got a Crux Spear. That's a higher... Oh, wow, okay. So let's do that. Well, before that, let's get these enemies out of the way, you know. We got a Deadly Blow. And that's another thing, you never want to put yourself in an area where the enemies respawn really quickly. Um, you will screw yourself over, trust me. So, I might as well gain some uh, experience here as I'm going along. That is like my favorite move. It just takes out so many enemies for you. There we go. Get some silver, always important. Okay, so I think I am going to equip that. Oh, wait a minute, let me see. Ah, you have to be level 20. Ha ha ha, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's keep going here and go to Alvarage. Okay, so it says a deadly boss has appeared at the Sagara Coast. So what you do is you just go to your map and uh, you want to find where the Sagara co uh, Coast is. Okay, so there it is. And then you have to find the boss. And see, I can't find the boss, which is kind of difficult. So we'll just keep going here. I tried, I tried.
But yeah, I am really looking forward to doing yoga today. I'm gonna do yoga um, just to stretch my joints and uh, get myself ready for uh, relaxation, get myself ready for bed, and get myself ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Another day, right? Oh, so crazy. I'm so tired. But we're almost there, almost to the village though. But yeah, this game, it doesn't get boring to me. I, I think once I understood the mechanics and I got a, uh, a gist of it. Okay, so now they said there's another one at the Bringham Volcano. So let's take a look. And see if we can find it. We have a problem. See, I can't. Yeah, I have another NPC. Okay, see, I I can't find it for some reason. Can't find it. Okay, so we completed that and got a crap ton of experience. Oh, we got some more quests here that we gotta fill. We gotta find the ruins. Want to make a little money. And see, the other thing I try to do to kind of speed it up to with the leveling process is I do play offline. So that way, um, it's not like I'm constantly like trying to get up to the higher, higher level. Um, so that's what I try to do too, is I try to play offline um, just to kind of help speed things up. And then I always will inform you about what happens in regards to the story. Um, I'm a very PvE person. I am not a PvP person at all. It is not my cup of tea, honestly. Alright, got another health potion there. Spiral out. Okay, let's check those boxes. Yeah, check that one. Alright, got two of five. Always good. Boom! There you go. That's like my favorite key move too. Not enough energy. And then you know the other thing I'm gonna do too is I'll do a poll um, so that you as the audience gets to pick the next game I play for uh, next month. Um, so when, um, when there are a lot of people in chat, then that's when I'll do that and it'll be like viewer's choice, which I think would be cool. All right, and let's do that one. All right, let's get some more of these enemies here. I'm running out of energy. Not enough energy. There we go. I'm running out of energy. All right, let's go. Try to get my energy back. Here we go. Get these boxes here. Oh. Okay, got that one done. All right, let's try to get those archers. These are not my favorite enemy. They are so annoying. There we go. Uh, all right, so let's go speak to uh, Harry in Loshburn Village. I feel like I'm putting this on like every couple of minutes because my lips are so dry. You're better than I, I have thought. to start putting some vitamin E back on here to kind of heal my lips too. Well, have a good day. All right, so we got that one done. Let's see if there's anybody else popping up with something. No. Okay, so let's find the ruins. 
Go check that out. Be a blast. Oh my god, sorry. Oh my gosh. I should even be yawning. But it is late though, so I don't blame myself. But who cares? I'm having fun. It's all about having fun. So I finished that one. Play that spell for soul. Alright, get that. Get in my game mode here. Not ready yet. Can't use this yet. And then you want to right click to use your uh, attacks here. Not enough energy. All right, there we go. Let's see what that is. Ah, oh, here's uh, the diary there. Alright, so we gotta talk to Mrs. Alger at Lashburn Village. So yeah, we're doing the Lashburn Village quests. Um, there's not too many of them. We'll be out of this area pretty shortly. Um, but yeah, that's what I try to do is I try to play online and kind of move it along a little bit faster and get to uh, different areas. But there are a lot of quests in this game. I was quite surprised. It is good to see our hero again. Alright. So let's go talk to Treyburn. Poor unfortunate me. All right, so we got some more quests. Hey, hey. Talk to Amy. Can you help me? Of course I can help you. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay, so let's get some Discoma parcels from the Discoma tribe laborers. All right, let's check this out. All right, got that. Boom, look at that. Two for two. Got three for three. This is my favorite move in the whole wide world. I'm running out of energy. I wonder what happens when the meter gets full. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen there. All right, so oh, we got one more. Sweet. I'm running out of energy. Insufficient There we go. All right, so now let's go fight some laborers. Insufficient energy. Up. Picking up those parcels really quick. Okay, got three of five. I'm running out of energy. Yeah, I'm gonna try my other mouse because this one's kind of duddy. Enough energy. Okay. I think I got one more. Oh yeah, here we go. Go on this side. There we go. Okay, so let's see here. So we gotta talk to Amy. Uh let's go destroy some more of those weapons so that way I can just go back in one piece. Doesn't do much damage as I thought. Devastating smash. Man, 
again. This tribe please won't leave me alone, man. There we go. And I noticed too with this keyboard too, I'm not getting as fatigued like I used to, which is kind of cool. So there we go. Ah, oh, jeez, I got like one more to do here. Crazy. There we go. Done and done. Okay, so let's go speak to Amy. Good work. All right, got that done. Speak to Harry. How'd it go? Done. Or so talk to Done. And talk or to him again. Me. Look at that! So we got another mission from him. Ooh. This will bring up my attack speed. Not too shabby. Okay, so we're looking at our lineage now. This will be interesting. Let me see. Has anybody else got something? No, okay. So let's go speak to Cecilia at the Gravekeeper's home. So now we're getting into the more grim stuff, which is always good. But, oh man. I am so tired, guys. Oh my gosh. I think I'm crashing and burning now from uh, staying up last night playing Davillion 2. I've been playing this game, pro I think I've put like probably like 10 to maybe 10, 15 hours into it so far. And I'm really liking it. I really am liking it. I like the story and it just has that really gothic feel to it. Oh, I love it. And I'm also excited to play with you, to play, uh, or to play along with you problem. if you're interested in that as, as well. Um, because I, it would be cool to play games too with my audience. I think that'd be fun. Um, yay! Level 20! I did it! Yes! Okay, that was, I was too excited. But no, I'm really excited to play along with, um, with you guys if, um, when I get to that point if you're interested in that. But I'm also excited for the mobile gaming part. Because mobile games, very, very popular. Okay, so I have to add 10 friends. This is kind of... Alright, so now all you do to do this, you just hit invite all. And then it'll let you know if they accept or, or not. So we'll have to do that 10 times, which is kind of interesting. So let's do that. Okay, so that one's done. Can you help me? Yeah, I'll help you. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of stuff to do. All right, so we have to defeat the uh, Awakened Remains. And then we'll do this, and then we'll get into some food for thought. This will be my last round of quest here. All right, let's do that. Ooh, deadly blow. Excellent. There we go. Wow, that was really quick. And there's one boss in here. Oh my gosh, she is such a pain in the butt to defeat though. Not even gonna lie. But do you see how quick you can annihilate enemies? My gosh. I am really surprised. Yeah. I mean, look at that mighty strike. All right, let's uh, get that one going. Got another critical. Almost done here. Almost done. I 
think they'll give me the five of five on that one. I'm gonna salvage that. Salvage that too. Hmm. Uh, brings up my. Okay, so let me get out of that. We'll equip that. Equip that as well. Oh, that's cool. They did accept. That's cool. Right, let's see what's new in here. Yeah. Oh, the belt. Okay, I'll need that. But see, that brings my physical defense down, so I'm gonna pass on that. Right. I'm gonna salvage that. And salvage that too. Hmm. Brings up my. Okay, so let me get out of that. We'll equip that. Equip that as well. Okay. Alright, let's get that Jump spear. I will salvage this. See what the general merchant has. I've got everything you could ever need. Huh. Oh, so you have to be in certain things too, like certain items. You have to be at a certain level all? to use them as well. well. Come back soon. I think I'm gonna keep saving these magic dust in the haunted one. Right, let me try to see if I can. I can't refine weapons. Let's see what this quest is. Bring the dead. Let's see here. Um. All right, so let's go destroy those energy generators. Not enough energy. Insufficient energy. Okay, critical. Yeah, that's a more powerful weapon. Wow. Finally, some earrings for Peak's sake. Not enough now I'll feel more complete. Okay, so I have to be level 21 for those, of course. Because, you know, that would be way, way too easy. Not 
Not enough energy. Ooh, did you see that? Oh my gosh. Oh, and I died. Wah, wah, wah. Right. Yeah. So, I haven't died in a long time since I've been using Tempest class. That's how powerful she is, though. Quite amazing. So we got two or three. All right, got a mighty strike there. Energy. Insufficient energy. All right, I think this is the last one here. Not enough energy. Come on. There we go. All right, so let's go speak with, uh, Celia at the gravekeeper's home. Good work. I have a problem. Safe travels. All right, so we got that. Can you help me? Okay. Using this one much so we can get rid of that. Um, let's put that there. Okay, let's try it out. Number six. Actually, I should put these two next to each other. That. I'll put that, yeah, right over here. All right, let's try it out. This is a new one, which is electric field. Whoa. That is insane. That's really cool, though. Oh, crap. What the heck? Let's try it out. All right, so let's see what uh, Cecile buried. I want to try that out because that looks really epic, man. Try it out. This is a new one, which is electric field. Whoa. That is insane. That's really cool, though. Oh, crap. What the heck? Let's try it out. Alright, so let's see what uh, Cecile buried. I want to try that out because that looks really epic, man. Alright, so I got that done. And see, as you go later on, I'm just noticing too, you don't get as much experience for the quest unless it's like, you know major major epic type quest so okay so let's go speak to shale lynn of the war of judgment memorial oh yeah this is the ghost okay so let's go defeat Hexadina of the Dark Truth because I really want to try that move seems kind of epic oh 
Oh, look at that! Oh, I'm gonna defeat her real quick. Look at that. Look how fast that was. Oh my gosh. That was so... That was probably the quickest battle I've had. Alright, so let's go investigate this monument. I like that move. Alright, so let's go talk to the ghost again. I never expected to see this world again. Okay. So that was really fun. So that was just another round, of course, at Davillion. And here's some food for thought. Just wrapping it up here. You know, one thing when I was talking about in regards to affordability is when you, you know, when you're, when you're first starting, especially in the gaming realm, it's very easy to want to keep up with the Joneses. You know, you want to buy that $400 console or that $1,200 gaming PC. But please take a step back and really think about inside yourself what works for you. Because what works for your friends doesn't mean and doesn't always translate to what may work for you and what you can afford. Especially if you're going to start doing streaming. If you're going to start streaming, you do not need a $2,000 computer to do that. Maybe later down the line if you want to do more advanced stuff or you're like a pro gamer or something like that. But if you're just starting into gaming or you're just starting into streaming, I believe in three letters, K-I-S keep it simple gets i mean i've seen people stream with like honestly a 500 or 600 dollar build will it be 1080p depends on what type of graphics card you put in there and that's the other thing do your research because sometimes it may look flashy because of the high price tag, but that doesn't always equate that the parts within inside the computer, especially if you're going the pre-built route, is going to equate to high performance. So that's why you want to do your research. Check all different companies out there that do different pre-builds. Another thing you can do too is if you have a friend or find someone who's really proficient or has experience in building gaming PCs because sometimes we're not all equipped you know or want to feel like building a computer because sometimes building a computer it can be a real hassle luckily for me I was blessed that the build that I have currently that I'm playing my games on um, was a previous build that a friend of mine had and then sold it to me to be able to use um, so it you know there's so many different ways of making PC gaming affordable now um, that there's no need to really break the bank. I think at the end of the day, you know, you have to get something that works in your price range, but then you also want to look at longevity as well. So if you may have to go up maybe one or two or three hundred dollars, you want to make sure you get something, especially with a desktop. Um, that's going to last you in the long run and the parts can be interchangeable to save you more money in the future. Now when it comes to computers, they can break, you know, it's just like a car, you know, each individual part is working to make the whole. But at the end of the day, don't keep up with the Joneses. Do gaming because you enjoy it and do it because it's fun. Because I think sometimes... You know, we get caught up all in the peripherals and, and what's better in this game is more superior than that game. Um, that you lose sight of the reason why I do gaming and it's for fun. It's to enjoy yourself. You know, after a hard day's work or hey, if you're stressed out or, or whatever it may be, we all game because we enjoy it. And, and also shout outs to all the developers, all the designers, the storytellers that bust their butts to make sure that these games come to life. I am very grateful for that. Thank you so much. So guys I'm, and ladies and everybody, I'm heading off because I can feel my body is like doing that. So like I always say, remember to get smart and stay informed. I'll see you all soon.